Hey, Poetry Fam! Welcome back to Poetry with a Purpose with me, Tereska Maisont. Today, I have a very special treat for you. I'm reciting one of my very own poems. Somebody asked me for it last week, and that's the whole purpose of this channel, is to provide poetry to the people. So, I hope you will enjoy it, but let me just tell you a little bit about the poem. I wrote it back in 2003. Yes, I was going through a very dark and difficult time. I had recently become a single mom. I was all alone in Joburg. I was having an identity crisis. So I did what I always do. I take my pen and my paper. But this time I had a conversation with God and I asked him, who am I? And guess what? God responded. Over and over again, I kept on asking the same question, who am I? And God kept on showing up. Today, I know if God says this about me, he says this about each and every one of his children. So today I want to dedicate this poem to you. If you are feeling lost and confused, keep coming back and remind yourself of who and whose you are. You are a child of God and you are special. So here it goes. Who am I? I am a creature of the jungle, an animal, beast. I feast upon my prey to ensure my own survival and the survival of my dreams. I am a hunter, a scavenger, relentless in my search to feed my hungry heart. Who am I? I am a being known as human, born from flesh and blood, perfect in my imperfections, flawless because of my flaws. Who am I? I am a woman, giver of life, bearer of fruit, woman, also known as princess, queen, empress, goddess. Being woman makes me a nurturer, a protector, a peacemaker, a truth seeker. Being woman makes me a warrior. I war against the injustices wrought by men. I fight for the innocent ones. I fight for the silent ones. It's a shh, silent revolution. Who am I? <laughs> I am African. Yeah! I'm African, not because I was born in Africa, but because Africa is born within me. I'm the dark child, rich with cultures and colors and exuberant textures and tongues. I am the mother of the nation who carries the hurt of my ancestors, yet look ahead towards the jubilation that emancipation will bring to my children. Who am I? I am a child of the sun, the moon, and a million stars. I am a daughter of the wind. I fly amongst the eagles soaring high above the gentle clouds. I am a sister to the earth. My vitality I absorb from the fertile soil that my souls tread upon. But how am I? I am beauty. A beauty that unfolds itself in the simplicity of the rose. I am the exquisite reflection in my infant's eye when he gazes up in awe of me. I am the sparkle in the pristine diamond. Who am I? I am fire. I am the fierce fire that burns brightly within my nakedness. I am magic and thralled by the glow that this fire spreads throughout my soul. I am the light that cannot be put out. But, but, what am I? I am peace. A peace so powerful it rumbles like a thunderstorm and summons me to the most profound stillness, older than time itself. This stillness humbles me, protects me, and guides me on my path to enlightenment. I am rejuvenated by the raw power of this peace. Who am I? I am me. I am you. I am it. I am everyone and everything. I am the sweet and the salt, the air and the breath, the light 
and the darkness. One last time. Who am I? Wie es ich na kimang? I am love. I am that which we are born from, that which we search for, kill for, die for. I am love. I am that which you cannot touch, cannot buy, and cannot steal. I am the love that warms the earth and which radiates in all directions. I demand respect for without me, you will wane, wither, and die. I order you to wake up and pay attention. I am love. I am that which should not be ignored nor abused. For I am pure. I am honest. I am sacred. I am gentle. I am eternal. Now, who are you?